Hello, everybody. This is Kristen Brindley, and I'm the publisher of Nova Real Producers, and I'm here with the wonderful Chuck Hall. Thank you so much for being with us, Chuck. Glad to be here. <laughs> He's our partner spotlight for our June edition. If you didn't check it out, make sure that you do. Winston's Chimney Service. And I mean, Chuck has um, taken this business, especially over the last 10 years. He's been in the industry 31 years over the last 10 years and just um, grown astronomically. It, Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies the last two years, $8 million chimney service company with 60 employees, Chuck, and 25 trucks. Um, you've worked on, so it's 80-20 on residential and commercial, but they've worked on the Capitol building, Supreme Court, right now the um, National Cathedral. So, I mean, um, great job in making a scale, beautiful business that really is customer service centric. Um, tell us about that. Like, did you always think you'd be in the chimney industry? Like how this happened, Chuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think I'd be in the, the chimney business at all. I wanted to be a uh, top 10 uh, radio station, local sales manager at a top 10 market. That's what I wanted when I came out of college. I just wanted to, to be in the radio biz and kill it. And, uh, and then I ended up in the TV business. So tell us, tell us how that, um, that transition. So like, how did you end up at Winston's and what was the progression? Um, to so I met, I met a couple of, I, I met a young entrepreneur. His name was Marty Fuller. And he became a friend of mine through his girlfriend that was in an ad agency. And then he introduced me to his partner and they were running Winston's Chimney Service, Winston's Gutter Service, and we do windows. And I became disenfranchised with the deregulation of the uh, radio industry and started working for them. And, uh, and then I said, oh my God, I gotta, I've got to get some of this in. And I started that in Northern Virginia. Well, that's, that's beautiful. So what's been you know, the biggest challenge for you? like as a business owner and yeah. well growing too fast and chasing it as they say and um, there are there are people that are entrepreneur sales minded and then there are the smarter people sometimes that uh, act more like um, CPAs and they really look more at the bottom line at the at how growing too quickly. And I didn't look at that. All I did was put my foot on the gas and, and floor it and then learn from our mistakes. So we are a product of our past and we're much stronger today than we were, you know, 20 years ago. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, I love, you know, in, in your article, you, um, you talked about Kaizen and, um, you know, continual growth. Like, can you tell, you, tell us a little bit how that's instituted in your life and your business, what you're working on now? Yeah. So Kaizen, it, you know, loosely translated means a uh, constant and never ending improvement. And that is a, a Japanese phrase. And when I was transitioning out of the field and selling and, and, and you know, doing production work, I started managing my company more than than just doing the work and i was looking at it from thirty thousand feet saying where are the mistakes where are the holes where are we leaking and how do i fix these things and that's the constant never-ending improvement a little twist here another nut and bolt there a little duct tape a zip screw whatever <laughs> you need to get the business uh starting to get squared away and of course the right experts that you bring in to help determine that. What has been most rewarding for you, Chuck, in this journey? You know, that's an easy one because I'm looking, I'm talking with my son who is finishing at George Mason and is interested in getting into the business uh, with us. And it's hiring, training, and leading people. And when you can lead people and they're loyal and they have the same buy-in as, as you do as the owner and you can leave and the business runs with them running it, it's extremely satisfying and gratifying to have listened to them talk about their business that they work for. It's, it's awesome. That is, what do you think sets you apart makes you different that you've created this? You know, 
I, I, th I think it's training number one, and then it's culture number two. So, and training might be part of the culture, but um, we get the, everyone the education that they need, whether it's in management and certainly in the field, because we're talking about live fire in the middle of a living room. We're not talking about a new coat of paint or maybe a tankless water heater or something like that. But we're talking about the venting of, of poisonous gases and the containment of you know, live fire, whether it's wood or gas. So it's extremely important to get the training first and, and be extremely knowledgeable and helpful to the client and sell them and help them to buy what they need and hopefully what they need and what they want uh, are, end up being the same thing. So what advice would you give to the top 500 agents? So for real producers, what, what advice would you give real producers when it comes to chimneys and when it comes to Winston's chimney service? Well, the top 500 are normally doing this already. And that is bringing us in earlier rather than later into the process. Um, as you would talk with, you know, as a listing agent, you talk with a client and say, you know, we may want to, to work on this bathroom and update a little bit. We may want to, you know, get the floors cleaned, uh, polished, et cetera. And then they're usually bringing us in in the earlier part of the process because we don't want to end up being an, uh, an issue at the end of the process with the buyer's agent and the home inspector who then usually brings a chimney person in and can throw a wrench into the works. So the top 500 are, are doing this pretty well by bringing us in earlier in the process. I love it. I feel like that's very good advice. What, um, so if you, next couple of years, what's, what's the plan for you and for, for Winston's chimney service? What are, you, what are you all trying to do? Well, we're expanding our market, you know, down to Fredericksburg and out to Winchester. Um, and we looked at when we bought a building, we bought a building a couple of years ago uh, on three acres, but it was out in Manassas. Uh, and so getting down, it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get down to Capitol Hill. And we do a lot of work on, in, on Capitol Hill. We do a lot of work in Georgetown, Bethesda, Chevy Chase. And we thought, oh my gosh, if we turn and go the other direction for an hour and a half, we're going to be able to reach some other clients, you know, and just do a full 360. So it's meeting, you know, and, and attracting more customers and it's working on our customer experience. So every, every business has a secret weapon, a habit, something they attribute their success to. Um, what is that for you? I would think it's who we've been working with, um, our consultants, the last several years. Those are the secret weapons for us. As a matter of fact, I call one of them my secret weapon and the other my not so secret weapon, but I work with two extremely smart women in, in two different parts of our business, April DeRossett, and she's out of Nashville, Tennessee, Direct Connect Solutions, and she's managing our CRM. She is managing our, our sales uh, management software. She is also uh, running our call center, not she personally, but her team, and she's brilliant and helps us run our company and we when we're making big moves I, you know whether she has anything to do with it at all i ask her advice because she's brilliant and then we work with another woman who's local and that is joanna quintero at smartvine and she has processes and systems and employee um issues uh and and we're just working on right now you know, this system here for our, um, our performance review system. And I don't have the time or inclination to do it as well or as quickly as she can. And it just makes it so easy. She's my not so secret weapon is Joanna, but, uh, you, uh, I feel like you're really, I just, listen to who, not how, and I feel like you do a great job. What advice would you give um, anyone in the industry or in business, um, you know, with 
how you handle your people. So um, I, I, some phrases you've said just like they ring really true for me. Like what is, um, what's some advice um, for like maybe for hiring and training and culture? Like what advice would you give um, some business owners? So I believe that you need to work on leadership. Number one, leadership is huge. There are people that are born leaders and those are people that uh, haven't necessarily been born leaders, but are, can learn a lot of the techniques. One of my favorite books is Turn the Ship Around by David Marquet and Captain David Marquet. And the other is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, uh, How Navy Seals Lead and Win. And those are just two books on leadership. There are hundreds of books, but if you're not a good leader, you're not going to be able to lead people. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate. Um, is there anything else you'd like to convey to our real producers um, about the chimney industry or, you know, business practices and anything else that you'd like to convey? Well, we're, we're so happy to be able to work with a lot of the 500 uh, top real estate agents in the Washington, D.C. Metro. That's fantastic. We want to continue to work with you. Uh, there's changes coming down in the industry, and they're starting on the, the left coast or west coast, if you will, and they're, they're coming towards us. And so we've got, we're moving more towards gas instead of, and a little less wood. And there's even going to be some electric fireplaces coming down the pike. And we'd love the opportunity to look at other proposals from other companies that maybe aren't offering the best solution for your client or you're just not sure about, please use me as a resource. Um, I want to be part of the solution and not the problem. We appreciate you, John. Thank you so much for being a valued partner of Real Producers and uh, check out his partner spotlight if you haven't, everybody. Thanks, Chuck. My pleasure. Have a good day, everybody.